chosen one. Have you ever noticed how certain images in our dreams leave us feeling unsettled and fearful? There's a reason for that. The devil often uses dreams to plant seeds of doubt and fear in our minds. The truth is that these images are not random. They are deliberate attempts to undermine your faith and spiritual strength. Today, we will explore the significance of seeing certain birds, animals, and objects in our dreams, and how to combat these spiritual attacks using the Word of God. Remember, you hold a strong power within you, rooted in your faith and the teachings of the Bible. Let us delve into these symbols, their meanings, and how to protect yourself through Scripture. 1. Owls are often associated with wisdom, but in dreams, they can also signify death or misfortune. In some cultures, owls are considered omens of bad news. When you see an owl in your dream, it might be an indication that the devil is trying to instill fear and uncertainty in your heart. The Bible tells us in 2 Timothy 1, 7, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Use this verse to remind yourself that fear is not from God and you have the power to overcome it through faith. Two, vultures. Vultures are scavengers feeding on dead and decaying matter. Seeing a vulture in your dream can symbolize death, decay, or impending danger. It's a reminder that the devil seeks to bring destruction into your life. But take heart, for the Bible assures us in Psalm 23, 4, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Trust in God's protection and guidance, even when faced with ominous signs. The assaults. Three, broken mirrors. A broken mirror in a dream is often seen as a symbol of bad luck or shattered self-image. It represents the devil's attempt to distort your perception of yourself and make you feel unworthy. But the Bible teaches us in Psalm 139, 14. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Remember that you are made in God's image and no reflection can change your inherent worth. Four, snakes. Snakes are commonly associated with deceit, betrayal, and hidden fears. In the Garden of Eden, the serpent deceived Eve, leading to the fall of man. When you dream of snakes, it might be a sign that the devil is trying to deceive you. Ephesians 6.11 advises us to put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Equip yourself with God's truth to discern and resist deception. 5. Crows or Ravens Crows and ravens are often seen as harbingers of death or bad news. Their presence in a dream can indicate that the devil is trying to bring despair into your life. However, Isaiah 41, 10 reassures us, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Trust in God's promise to uphold and strengthen you in times of trouble. Six. Spiders. Spiders can symbolize entrapment, manipulation, or lurking danger. They weave intricate webs to catch their prey, much like the devil tries to entangle us in sin and fear. But we can find comfort in Psalm 91. 7. Bats. Bats, often associated with darkness and the supernatural, can symbolize fear or hidden threats in dreams. The devil uses these symbols to evoke fear. But John 1, 5 tells us, 
the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. No matter how dark things seem, the light of Christ will always shine through. 8. Black Cats In some cultures, black cats are seen as omens of bad luck or witchcraft. Seeing a black cat in your dream might indicate that the devil is trying to make you feel cursed or unlucky, but Romans 8.28 reminds us, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Trust that God is always working for your good, regardless of superstitions. 9. Rats Rats often symbolize disease, betrayal, or decay. In dreams, they might represent the devil's attempts to bring corruption and betrayal into your life. But one, John 4, 4 encourages us, you dear children are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Remember that God's power within you is greater than any betrayal or corruption. 10. Wolves Wolves can represent aggression, danger, or a threatening situation. They are often depicted as predators in the Bible. When you dream of wolves, it might be a sign that the devil is trying to instill fear and aggression in your heart. But Matthew 7, 15. 16 warns us to be vigilant. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. By their fruit, you will recognize them. Stay vigilant and trust in God's wisdom to recognize and overcome these threats. 11. Snails. Snails might seem harmless, but in dreams, they can symbolize sluggishness, delay, and obstacles. The devil might use this symbol to make you feel stuck and hinder your progress. Hebrews 12, 1, 2 urges us. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance, the race mark out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. Keep your focus on Christ and move forward with perseverance. 12. Coffins. Coffins are symbols of death and endings. Seeing a coffin in your dream might signify that the devil is trying to instill fear of death or endings in your life. But 1 Corinthians 15.55 declares, Where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? Through Christ, death has been conquered and we have eternal life. 13. Graveyards Graveyards often symbolize death, loss, or unresolved issues. Dreaming of a graveyard can indicate that the devil is trying to remind you of past losses or instill fear of death. However, Revelation 21, 4 gives us hope. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. God promises a future without death or sorrow. 14. Blood and dreams can signify injury, death, or serious trouble. It can be a sign that the devil is trying to make you fear harm or loss. But the Bible tells us in Isaiah 53, 5, But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Christ's sacrifice has already brought us healing and peace. 15. Fire can symbolize destruction or uncontrollable anger. In dreams, it might represent the devil's attempts to bring chaos and destruction into your life. But Isaiah 43, 2 reassures us, 
When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. God promises to protect us through all trials. 16. Dead flowers. Dead flowers symbolize decay, death, or the end of something meaningful. Seeing dead flowers in your dream might indicate that the devil is trying to bring a sense of hopelessness and loss into your life. But Isaiah 40, 8 reminds us, the grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. God's word and promises remain steadfast and eternal, providing hope beyond any earthly decay. Conclusion, beloved, these symbols in our dreams are not random. They are deliberate attempts by the devil to weaken your faith and create fear. But take heart, for God's word is a powerful tool that can dispel these lies and bring light into the darkness. Ephesians 6.17 describes the word of God as the sword of the spirit, highlighting its role in spiritual warfare. When you feel attacked in your dreams, turn to scripture for strength and guidance. Remember, you are not alone in this journey. Being part of a faith community provides support, accountability, and shared wisdom. Hebrews 10:24, 25 encourages us. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Together we can strengthen our faith and stand firm against the devil schemes. Speak directly to God in prayer, meditate on his word, and share your experiences with fellow believers. By doing so, you equip yourself with the knowledge and strength needed to face any challenge. As Philippians 4.13 reminds us, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Let us cherish and cultivate our faith, nourish it through prayer, study of God's word, and fellowship with fellow believers. May we continue to deepen our relationship with God, allowing his love to transform us from within. Let our faith not only sustain us, but also inspire others to seek the truth and experience the life-changing power of God's love. If you're still watching, I'd like to thank you for your attention. If you enjoyed the content and want to see more, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Your support is very appreciated. Feel free to share your experiences or thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, take care and subscribe for more insightful content.